Hello everybody, it's Eddie here, Eddie Makes Art, and we're gonna make some art today. We're gonna use some stencils and masks. Um, first, let me introduce you to my channel, if you're new. Uh, my name is Eddie, of course, and um, I do all sorts of stuff, mixed media. Um, there's collaging, uh, gel printing, there's um, um, journal making and ephemera making. You know, whatever piques my interest, uh, watercolors as well. And um, today, I want to show um, a couple of things. We're going to play with a couple of things. I got this stencil from PM Artist Studio. Um, they are Patricia and Mariah. Um, and they make stencils with Yupo. Now... Here's the deal with what I'm using. Full disclosure, these are called IMPPs, which means um, imperfectly perfect, according to Mariah. So what that means is um, there are slight imperfections to the stencil. So it was not available. So it was not um, a, a, a piece that could be sold. So basically it goes into the, um, the damage bin Right, so she sent me a few stencils to play with, um, just to demonstrate how well they work. Um, and this has a very minimal to, uh, flaws that I can tell. Um, it's a very, very usable stencil. Now, the, the 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 main disclosure is that when you order from PM Artist Studio, whether it be um, stamps or stencils, um, whatever. It comes 100% perfect. They do not send out anything that has a damage or a flaw or it's it's not, you know, to their standards, which are pretty high. So just so you know, um, again, I'm playing with these just to see how they work, um, to show you how how to play with the Yupo stencils on a gel plate. Um, I'm going to do a technique that uh, we've dubbed in our little art group on um, Facebook called Makers of uh, Mixed Media and Arts, Mixed Media Art and Artists. And so um, we ca the, Patricia, who is a um, former art teacher, queen of the um, gel plate, she um, did what we call dubbed a long haul with stencil with a stencil. So basically you put down a layer of paint on your gel plate, you lay down your stencil, and then you pick up using a piece of uh, carnival tissue, which we're gonna use today. And it's a wet strength uh, tissue that is great for pulling up prints. And um, so basically what we do is a tissue, you take a tissue, you lay it down on top, and then you rub it gently with a paper towel or a piece of, you know, something soft. Um, to pick up the paint in these little nooks and crannies. And then we'll do that process again, but we leave the stencil on the plate and then we're gonna paint over that. And then we'll pick up the paint and we keep going. What we're doing is building layers. So when you finally pull the stencil off, there is a outline of all these little, you know, beautiful shapes and stuff, right? And then what we do is we take a, generally a, a and some an opaque paint, an opaque color, um, and pull it with that off the, the gel plate. Um, and then you have this fabulous like print with all sorts of, you know, um, great layers and bits of color here and there. And it's, it's, it's really fun. Um, you end up with a lot of prints because you're pulling, you know, you're constantly pulling paint off the different colors you put on. Um, but it's, it's a lot of fun. So we're going to try that. Um, this is one from one of their uh, Lattice collections. I don't have the exact name, but um, when you go to their website, which is brand new, it's um, been revamped. I mean, they, they've, they've gone from a different place to this new site, and it's just fantastic. It runs super well. Um, it's very easy to get around. Um, they have a, a search button, a search option. Just type in Lattice, and it'll get you to all the... Uh, items related to that word lattice, uh, whether it be, you know, their stencils, their foam stamps, or, or what have you. Uh, so that's the first one. And then I have ones, this is a uh, gears and, and old gears or something. It, it's, I don't know if, if it's 
a, a, a mask anymore. This is a mask. Um, I don't know if it's still available, but they, if you do a search, I just did it before I came on to the camera, of just the word gears, you get all the different stencils that have this theme to them. So if you're looking for something steampunky, type in gears and you'll get that. Um, and you'll get something like, and this is not super uh, damaged either. It just has, you know, you can tell if you look up close or slight imperfections like these little um, dots here that are supposed to be connected They're, you know, they came apart on this side, but we're gonna, we're gonna work with it and we're gonna play with it. So, and again, I'm gonna repeat again, you do not get anything imperfect from them when you order from their website. Okay, so remember that. I'm just having a, a, a go to show you how the Yupo works with uh, acrylic paint on the gel plate and all that good stuff. Uh, and she sent me um, this one as well. And this one is Gears and Arrows. Um, there are different variations on the website. So again, when you type in Gears, you're gonna get, you'll see you know, the stencils that have these components. And then she sent me some um, laser prints uh, for transferring. So basically what we do is we put a thin layer of paint onto the plate. We lay down a laser printed paper um, and then we take it off and we're left with this print or whatever you put down. So um, she sent me several to play with um, and they can be used multiple times. And the reason they're laser printed is because the laser print allows the ink to come off onto the plate. An inkjet won't do that because the paper soaks it up. Um, so there's really nothing there to pull. Um, but with the gel plate, it, uh, the laser print, it's different. It will pull up, um, it will stick to the plate and you'll get some great, great images. So we have a couple here that uh, that Mariah sent. Um, this is their asemic writing. Their asemic, they have a stencil and a mask and. This is a stamp as well that's in their website. Okay, uh, these are some from somebody else. Okay, so we're gonna try playing with those as well. And then I have uh, some of my own photos that I've, uh, I went to our FedEx, local FedEx store here in Boston, and they do laser printed. So I just gave them some files and they printed them off. A lot of these are photos from um, my trip to Arizona. This is just a piece of broken glass. Um, this is, uh, after a rain in Bisbee, Arizona, where, uh, I was going to see the copper mines. Um, this was a root of a plant that I pulled up in my backyard about a year ago. And I just thought the root looks so, so cool and so much texture and, and little itsy bitsy. So I thought we could, uh, maybe transfer that. These are, um, the mountains over Arizona as I was flying. So I took this photo from my um, airplane seat oh, through the window. thought that was cool. I, I had multiples printed up uh, so I could play around. This is also um, from the plane. Let's see here, let me get to ones that are a little different. Yeah, I printed up like three or four of each. Uh, this is a photo I took of my jasmine plant single jasmine flower and it's got some water and stuff on it but I thought the, the contrast would be really good to try and transfer to the plate and that's important when you're doing um, photo transfers like this um, uh, high contrast is best um, and then this is a, a, a dying um, jasmine flower on the porch I thought that was really cool it had some great textures and so we're gonna play with that and see if that works Let's see, do I have any others? Yeah. Yeah, this is these. This is a picture of the Badlands in Arizona. Is that one again? Um, I believe this is a young tumbleweed. I believe. I'm not sure, but I just thought it was really cool. It's some. Um, it's got really great like textures and stuff running through it. The same. Oh, this is cool. This was at the uh, where the uh, the freight trains go by. This is in Winslow, Arizona, and I got the sun here in the um, native statue. 
really cool. And that's it. Okay, so got a lot to play with. And here, the last thing I wanted to show you is um, carnival tissue. Now, this carnival tissue is special because it's made for it's general it initially is made for uh lantern making so you know those paper lanterns you can make put a little bulb in there you know float them or whatever a little tea, tea light um so they have a wet strength meaning they can absorb liquid without tearing um and that's why it's good to use the acrylic paints because you can you know really get into the stencil and you know when you pull it up it's not going to tear like a you know just a, a typical tissue paper which i use as well sometimes um this one is, is a little pricier but it's definitely worth it um it does great pulls and it behaves very very well with the acrylic and the gel plate so i'm going to clean this up bring my plate out and then we will get started all right i got my eight by ten gel plate out and we're gonna get started, but first I wanted to let you know that there's a special discount that I can offer you um, for the PM Artist Studio website. And it's pmartiststudio.com. They're based out of Texas. Um, and it's a, you know, it's a small business, but they are fantastic. Everything they produce is top notch. Um, they have great service. Mariah is, is super helpful and knowledgeable so is patricia um and they do live streams which are great they're really good i suggest you check them out uh sundays at 10 a.m 3 p.m on tuesdays and thursdays um and that's central time anyway <laughs> um but i want to offer you my code for a 10 percent off your purchase discount so here you can screenshot it if you'd like um at the end of your order that is at least $30 or more. Um, you want to enter this code WZ6WX5-10. This expires at the end of the year, December 20, 31st, uh, 2023. I almost said 1993. Whoa. Um, and then once you get to their website, you can join their um, different levels of um, membership. Um, on YouTube, there's Palsy Wowsy. It supports the company, and you get some great emojis to play with um, when you're doing when you're on their live stream. Um, on their website, Monkey Muck is the first level of um, membership, and you get all the fun plus fifteen percent off stencils. And then on um, when you sign up for the Loverly status, that's like the top status. You get all the fun, 20% off stencils, and a welcome signed matted print from, um, from, the, from PM Artist Studio. Okay, so I have my brayer, got some paints all around. I thought we're gonna, I thought we would do this uh, lattice one. I'm gonna start with the black, and I'm mainly using, uh, for right now, um, the Liquitex paints, uh, the basic acrylics. This is Mars Black. Um, and then I'm going to be playing to maybe try to throw in some, uh, in the purples, throw in some uh, color shift in purple. And this is Purple Flash. And what it does is it changes, depending on how you look at it, Purple Flash changes, shifts to blue. So, you know, when you turn the paper or the print, you look at it, um, it shifts the light. And makes it, um, and you see the purple or the blue to purple. Uh, the black one. This is I love this one. It's uh, black flash, um, and it shifts to gold. Okay, and then I have these. These are fun. Um, they're great. They're expensive. That's why I only have the tiny ones, but they last you a long time. These are um, fluid acrylics and. See, I can, I've had this for like at least two months and it's still pretty full. Um, this is gold interference, um, the golden fluid acrylic interference gold fine. You see, you see there it's transparent. So you can see the black. Um, and then this is another golden uh, fluid acrylic. It's the transparent red iron oxide, um, another transparent. Um, and these are 
these dry quickly, so you have to, you know, um, not dilly-dally when you're using these. Um, and then I've got these. Um, these were on clearance at Blick, and um, I said, oh, let me try them. They're acrylic gouache. I've never used acrylic gouache. I've only used watercolor gouache. Um, but these work really, really well. This is a um, matte opaque gold. And then this is the bronze. And they work so, so nicely. You can see the the difference here. All right, and they're in these great little plastic bottles. Okay. So I think we're ready to go. And I have my Anthony Cody. Cody Woodcraft's Baron. Go check him out. He's got, uh, I believe he's got a sale going on on his Etsy shop, Cody Crafts. Um, and there's a uh, Mother's Day sale. He doesn't only do barons, he does other things. Basically, he finds a beautiful piece of wood and he makes it into um, something gorgeous. So check him out. I will link all of these places I'm mentioning in the description box below, including you um, the discount code. So take a look in the description box. All right. Let's start with some Mars Black, and then we're going to lay the stencil on top. Now, for this layer, you don't need too much paint um, because um, it's just you're putting the stencil on top. Now, if we were going over, now when we're going over the stencil, that's when you need a little more paint because you want it to get into the, all the good nooks and crannies. Okay, giving this a good drawing. So I don't get too many of those spots. Well, it doesn't really matter because this is gonna come through the stencil and we're gonna pick it up with the tissue. I have my brayer sheet off to the side here where I got, I have more space it's off the desk. Okay, so let's put our IMPP down. Okay, that's down. And then we're gonna take a piece of our carnival tissue uh, smooth side down, you can feel the difference. It pulls better on the smooth side. All right, oh, I already messed it up, didn't I? No, I didn't. All right, just lay it down. And then you're gonna take a uh, piece of, like a paper towel. Come on. And smooth over the paper gently. And you wanna your goal is to pick up the paint from in between that the paint that's showing, right? Because you want to leave the um, outline, okay? So take a second, you have some time here. I mean, the black does dry a little quickly, so you, know, you don't want to dilly-dally, but don't uh, press too hard. Now, I think I think we're good. Sometimes with the finger it works well too. But you have to be very gentle so you don't rip. Because um, it can rip. It do, usually doesn't, but you know, you gotta, you gotta be gentle with anything. All right, let's see how much we picked up. Uh, that's not bad. Cool, huh? This is our first one. Now, let's see, there's not, yeah, that I paint dried pretty quickly. I think I was talking too much, so. Do as I say and not as I do. Now, let's get another color on here. I have my three purples. Let's see, which purple do I want to do first? I have a transparent prism violet, a deep violet that's opaque, and a deep and a dioxazine that's um, opaque as well. I'm going to go with the transparent since we just did a um, opaque. Um, oops, sit down there. Sit. Okay, now I'm going to put this in a couple of spots because it's a very intricate stencil. You get a lot of little bits and pieces to get into. All right, uh, come on. This brayer has been acting really weird. Uh, okay, and I don't really want to buy a new one. This works fine. It's just sometimes it's, it gets stuck. You see right away, I see I do not have enough paint. Corner here. That might be too much. Eh. It's actually probably not because, like I said, there's a lot of little areas in here you want to get your paint into. 
So that's what it's going to help you create that. Um, those wonderful layers that will pull off at the end. This, uh, okay. Did we get it all in there? Are we in there? I think so. Okay. We're gonna go smooth side down. Um, there we go. You can see uh, definitely enough paint there. We're able to get that. All right. Now, the reason I'm using this is you see it's wet shrink, but the tissue soaks up the paint. So you see it comes out, but if you're gentle with it, it will not tear your paper. And that's why I'm using something soft to transfer the paint to my tissue. I'm, I mean, I might not have to do this twice so I don't overload my tissue. Sorry for the, the pouncing, but okay. Be gentle. I'm always paranoid when I do this because I'm just worried it's going to stick. Carnival tissue is uh, usually behaves pretty well. I'm just taking my time. And I'm already seeing that there's still paint down there. So I want to come back with another piece. And I'll show you these at the end. Just want to get them off to dry. All right. That was a lot of paint, but... You know what, we'll get some nice prints on this tissue. You know what, I'm gonna go in with the black one. The first one we did. And get some color on there. That would be fabulous. Mm. So, oh God. I did put down a lot of paint. Huh? That's okay. You already have this really cool pattern that you can use in all sorts of stuff. And this tissue is great for decoupage, uh, for collage, because um, it basically is, it kind of blends into what you're doing once you, you know, you, you glue it down um, and makes the print really stand out. All right, let's set that. I got a board over here to the side. I put all these on. So, I want to see, I'm just going to grab a piece, this is like scrap tissue I have over here, but not really scrap, but I cut up some regular type tissue, and this was left over, so I use it for this. All right, let's get another color now. We want an opaque, um, I'm going to not do a purple, I have some reds too we can play with. Um, something opaque in the red, maybe... How about just one of these? Cadmium red medium. It's a hue. And it, see here, semi-opaque. You see the box with the half of the box shaded in? It's semi-opaque. Um, and this one, we're gonna put it all around, make sure we get enough, but not a whole lot. I'm just basically kissing my bottle to the, to the, to the stencil. Give it a little encouragement. Be firm, but gentle. Firm, but gentle. Give a little push sometimes. Get that paint in the right spot. And these stencils are made from Yupo. Let me read it for you. 
Oh, it's not on here. It's on the other sheet that I have. But anyway, they're um, made of Yupo, so they, they're very strong. But like with anything, you want to take care of it. Because um, at this point, art is an investment if you're going to do it for real. Because uh, as many of you probably know, art supplies are not inexpensive. So, um, you know, you have to be conservative with your purchasing. However, you, you know, if you do make a significant purchase of something, like a tool or, you know, you want to take care of it. All right, let's get in here. This one is coming, coming, coming up good, I think. I hope you're all doing well. I didn't ask you that, did I? Um, bad, but I hope you're well. Things are going good here. I've just, I've been busy making and um, watching um, some awesome YouTube videos of uh, fellow arties creating. All right, I'm trying to, <laughs> try not to let the stencil pull up. wonderful that would make a, a really cool pair of shorts <laughs> i think or a t-shirt or a um a batik or something like that you know what i mean like an all over thing now let's do should we do purple again no no let's do the color shift we're gonna do color shift in the purple uh, let's do it with a blue. Where is my... Here it is. How about this one here? It's a primary blue, semi-opaque, and the color shift paint. Okay. Let's give this a shot. You can even be artistic when you're putting down your paint. <laughs> All right. Shake this up a little bit. Okay. Now, if you have any questions, shout them out. I'll answer. I'm just kidding. Um, use the comment section. I would love um, to hear from you, whatever it is. And if I can answer it, I will do my best. Or just say hello. I'd love to say hello back. All right. Okay. I think we're in every cranny. Okay. Let's clean it off. Paint on my finger. New piece of paper towel. How about that? And then get some tissue. Remember, smooth side down. This is a little crooked, but that's okay. You come in with some other tissue, piece, another piece of tissue. You'll get up on the edge there. All that good stuff there. Come on. Now, you might think, yeah, that's too much, or it's too much, but when you are doing, like I said, using one of these stencils that has the little nooks and crannies, you want to really get in there. Um, you want enough to get in there and, and give you a nice uh, outline. Do, 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 do. Okay, this one's going to be wet. But that's why we use this tissue, because it's wet strength. Wow, look at that, oh my god. I put it down because it's, it's wet, but wow, wow, wow. All right, let's get 
uh, this piece here start to pick up what's well, left behind. And now I don't recommend using a baron here because um, you may run into trouble. You want something a little bit softer. So just stick with your, your napkin or whatever soft thing you have to, uh, to rub, your, rub your tissue with. Wowza, we got more over here on this side. I just ordered some more tissue because I am almost out. Um, because this stuff is fantastic. And it comes in a really big sheet, but you can cut it down. Um, Mariah suggested this, you, when, when they order it, they cut it down and basically make it into fours. So cut it down into four sections and you get this size, which is about nine by 10. It's more, it's like, uh, this is about 10 and a half by nine and a half. So it fits my eight by 10 um, perfectly. And then obviously you can cut it down if you have a, also a five by seven, cut them down to fit that. It's an investment, but it's it's worth it um, if you break it down by sheet. Okay. Wow. See, now it's starting to pick off paint off the stencil. So you get these really cool variations of, of color and texture. All right, I need to come back with some more. Wow, the paint that keeps on giving. Okay. At this point, there shouldn't be too, oh, well, there's more than I thought, there we go. Well, I spoke too soon. Look at that, we got like four pulls from that one layer of paint. All right, let me set these to the side. So we did opaque. Uh, we did the uh, color shift with the blue. Uh, what should we do next? Let's see how it's coming along. So the color you see here is what we're gonna pick up at the end, okay? That's gonna be our final print, you know, once we get a, a paint to pull it up with, figure one out. Oh, but still, yep, I'm in shot. Okay, so let's see, let's do magenta. How about that? This is the Liquitex Quinacridone Magenta. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. It is a semi-opaque PR122, permanent red 122. Okay, come on. <laughs> Cut it all over my. Uh, okay. You know, I was going <laughs> to wipe that down with the paper towel. No, Eddie, you don't do that. Silly boy. Get in there, kids. Get in there. And let's see what we pull here. Now center it this time, Eddie. That's the best, best I got it. When you're smoothing, especially with the tissue, smooth from um, the middle out to your edges. You'll avoid most wrinkles. Um, 
you know, my fingers that keeps rubbing off on there. Mm. It looked like the 4th of July. Of that coming up. All right, we're going to pull from this way over. Wow. Mm. Beautiful. And like here, the it's it's picking up the paint from from the actual stencil from previous pulls. Right, this guy, another piece of tissue. Again, from the middle, out. Now, it's a miracle my hands feel good today. They were hurting earlier, but they're, they're good now. Man, the weather changes and my hands flare up and it's hard to work and it's aggravating because you feel like you can't do much and then, you know, you pick up something and it falls out of your hand right away and it's getting old, but you, know what, you deal with it. And once I get into making something, I can I kind of shut the pain out and, you know, just... Keep going. Ooh, ooh, itchy. Okay. If you have a place, a site, like a social media site where you post your your artwork, I would love to see. Please let me know in the comments and I will definitely check it out. And um, if you look in the description box below the video, you'll see a link to um, my Instagram page, which has a lot of my artwork um, and other stuff on there. I have, you know, family stuff I have, um, you know, places I've traveled to, um, all sorts of stuff. But yeah, there's a lot of my artwork on there. There's a lot of food uh, work on there, you know, food posts. Um, oh, whoa. whoa no, no, don't. no, you stay there. Look how gorgeous that is. That. Don't you want that as a pillow for your couch? I have a green couch, like a dark green couch, so this would look really great against the the green. All right, let's try that little strip and see if I can get any more out of here. So I think this is going to be it. this is going to be it. The last one. So I think we've, we've we've got some nice layering going there. Come on, baddie. Although, maybe I'll do some gold. Let's do gold. I like gold. Okay, so we said gold. So we're gonna do the acrylic gouache and gold and the black flash color shift. Check, 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 check. Well, see what I mean? If stuff flies out of my hand, I don't have a very good grip sometimes. So that means the pain will come soon, but we're gonna work through it. That's enough of that. And some of the guashies. I think that's enough. Okay, let's spray this out. Okay, I think I 
for my reading glasses, otherwise I wouldn't be able to see these, um, these nooks and crannies to make sure I got paint in them. See, my hands are out of control. I, I gotta, I guess it's telling me to take it easy, but we've got work to do. Okay, that's enough of that. There's some carnival paper. later but wow that's cool that would be a wonderful wallpaper I'm running out of space I am going to take this one are you dry enough I think you are let's see if we can pick up more of this gold gold concoction Add another layer to this, and that's why another reason it's it's um, the carnival tissue is great for gel printing um, because it can hold multiple layers. Ooh, very beautiful. Okay, set this aside. Let's move these out of the way. Gonna pull the stencil up. All right, that's gotta dry. Sorry, I'm like reaching back behind me. Let me get my stuff. And just we're gonna just go around this and try to get some of this paint through the stencil and onto the paper. How beautiful is that? That's just from wiping it off. All right, let's set you to the side. While the other uh, print dries on the plate, it has to dry completely before we put the layer on, um, the next layer on to pull up the actual print. And then, you know, at, once we do that, it has to dry as well. So what I'll do is uh, once we get the paint on there and the paper down, I will um, let it dry and we'll come back. I'll come back to you once it's all dry and then we'll pull it up and see what it looks like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So what I thought we'd do is I pulled up my five by seven plate while that dries and then we can um, try some of this laser printing transfer. Uh, what I wanted, to, what I, my idea is to take these two pieces, I cut off from the large one, um, put one on top, one at the bottom and lay this down as a background and then um, have a little play with this mask over that and see what what we get okie dokie now you want a thin layer for transferring you want something that's you know a little more sticky a little more transparent maybe not necessarily transparent but more mm, like a metallic won't do a good print uh, pull if you know what i mean but this is also another time it's fun to test with the, the paints that you do have because every paint every color is going to behave a little bit differently um start with a thin layer and then you know 
play around with that and find your groove. Um, and remember, the best images to transfer are have been laser printed. Um, but you know, try what you got and and see what you what you come up with. The worst that's going to happen is you know you've got paint on your paper with no image. But hey, you know you tried, and that's that's the important thing. So normally people do pulls with black. Um, and I'm gonna do it with this one, um, just because I find it, it, it works for me. Uh, this works for me too sometimes. It's the Transparent Red Mid um, from Amsterdam. Um, this one works too sometimes for me, the Primary Blue. Um, which it's a, no, a semi-opaque, but it, it does it does work. There's a couple of other colors from Liquitex that I've used that, that work. Um, so, okay, let's see here now. I'm gonna do not too much, just a little bit. But what I wanna do is I wanna kinda of make sure I mix it up well so it doesn't leave those um, oval patches, you know, as you're blurring it out. Now that is too much, I wanna take some off. think this should do it. So you lay down your lay down your laser prints. Too much paint to dry. It's okay that they're not touching because um, I don't want it to be you know perfect perfect. Alright, let's smooth it out. Good job, Eddie. All right, and there you have it. All right, see, success. Now these I don't throw away because they're good for a couple more uses. There's still plenty of laser print ink on there. So I'll set these aside to dry. Okay, now that's probably already dry. It doesn't take much. Now the only thing is it didn't put up pull up the solid black. Um, that depends on it could have been not maybe not enough paint, maybe I left it on too long or too little. So that's again, you know, you want to play around and, and see what you come up with. I don't mind that line in there either. I think it just adds to the to the look. Um, so now we want to take this stencil, this mask. And I want to decide what color we're going to go with colors. Um, all right, that's going to be what we use. Um, hmm. So we got a black. Uh, what if we did? Um, hmm. Let's do some interference gold and some of the gouache. So just gonna spread a little of that. Come on. There we go. Now this you don't want to shake this too much because it starts foaming. So you know, shake a little bit and uh, you're done. long enough for that to dry the the laser print but we shall see Dry. I'm just going to take a quick peek here. 
And I'm gonna let it set for a few minutes. So we'll come back and we'll get these uh, these things going. Okay, this guy is dry and uh, I'm gonna be daring. I'm going to pull it with some lime green. This is a um, semi-opaque basics acrylic. It has uh, white in it, permanent white, yellow 74 and permanent green seven. So it's a, it's, it's a really nice color. Um, and I think it'll, it'll pick this up nicely, give it a nice background. And then I'm gonna do into that a little of this color shift in the green or green flash and it flashes from uh, green to gold. So it'll pick up that nice gold that we have in there. A little bit there. And a little bit there. Come on. Everything's sticking to everything. Okay. All right. Same thing. Mixing it around so you don't get too many splotches. And I'm not picking this up with the carnival tissue. I'm going to pick it up with the hammer mill paper I use. It's the color copy paper. It's really good. It's a little thicker than regular copy paper. Um, it makes for nice, nice pulls. Okay. Let's get this paper on here. And at this point, we want to, remember, center out. I want to go ahead and use the brayer here, or the baron, I'm sorry. I just used the brayer. Um, and the baron is going to help us, help the paint adhere um, to the dry paint, the wet paint to the dry paint, and um, give us a nice clean pull. So I'm just going to go around in circles, make sure you get those edges. And this is great if you have arthritis like I do. Um, these wooden barons um, really take the pressure off your hands. Um, and also if you have skin problems, you don't want to be rubbing on the paper too much when you're gel printing. It's going to aggravate it. So, you know, think about investing in a baron if you do a lot of gel printing. We're gonna let that dry, but first we're gonna take a, a sneak peek from behind. Oh boy, I think that's gonna be a looker. All those, all those layers and little open, like little bubbles. And okay, we're gonna let that dry. So set that aside. Let's see if the gears is. Good enough to pull. May not be so bad. I'm gonna give it a try. Yeah, I think I, th I think I think it's coming up. All right, cool. I told you that goal is beautiful from the Vallejo paints. You can see. I mean, I could have done a couple of layers with the gears uh, thing on, but I didn't want to lose the um, the laser print there. But yeah, see, that was a good experiment. All right, it's better than what I expected. Let's just say that. Let's try another one of these um, laser prints on here. What about the... There's something that's going to work on here. How about we do some... Uh, do that. Move it. Um, if you can hear, that's the same paper I used to pull the print. Um, scissors. That's what I'm looking for. All right, let's go ahead and start cutting this out. Just gonna give it a quick fussy cut so I have all the paper.
this one is let's use a different color to pull it up with let's try this red because I, I do have success with this red oops Ooh, little trinket there okay now, this particular paint the, the red um transparent red from amsterdam dries quickly so i'm gonna try and Get this on. I have red paint all over me now. Great. Let's try and get this rolled out. Okay. Make sure it's got a full contact. Second. Where's my other tissue? Yeah. Actually, I want to leave that. Let's see. All right, see that? The red? Okay. Now let's get this here and see if we can pull this up right away before it dries. All right, let's see. <laughs> How cool is that? How awesome is that? You can add more layers to this. You can do all sorts of stuff with this. And then we have some uh, of this left. This is still a little bit wet, so let's see. Let's just pick it up with this here. And uh, that was pretty good. Now I do, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Let's get the edges, it might be paint on the edges for my sloppy brayering. Let's see. Okay. Um, so let's see if the large plate is ready. I think I can so slowly and gently to pull this up. This is very steampunky. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Get to see all the, see all the cool layers. You can see some golds and reds and purples. Oh, it's 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 awesome. I love it. All right, we're on a, we're on a good roll today. Let's move you to the side over here. That's good. Okay. And so I wanted to do um, the transfer, uh, see if I can do a transfer of one of my own photos. Uh, you guys, over here. See, I don't have much working space. So everything is constantly like, okay, get out of the way, get out of the way. All right. Okay, let's see. Now, I tried one of these recently when I, when I got them, and I didn't have much success. So... I'm going to give it another try today and see what, um, what, what I get. Tissue, I need a tissue here. All right, so this is the one of the, um, the bottom of, uh, the broken bottom of a, a bottle, a glass bottle. 
It's out in the desert. All right. Um, still sure would you blue. Okay, so here's the uh, deal. What we're gonna do next is take this and try to transfer it to the plate. This is my um, my own photo that I had laser printed um, at my lo local FedEx uh, shop. And, you know, I was thinking this black that has not worked for me for this paper, so I don't know. Hmm. Let's give it, it may not be enough contrast, but I thought that, you know, at least the center portion would um, would come in better. Let's try it and we'll see what uh, what happens. Oh, the gods are with me today. I, that's never happened before with this picture, with this these laser prints. So, could have been the weather that day. All right. Good luck today. Let's. I'm gonna let this dry simply because I want to put another color over and pull it. I just don't want to pull up the you know the black and white print um, or the black. But you see, we got a lot of good detail in there. Saw the the rock. All right, so this is gonna dry and we'll come back and put a color over it and pull it. Let's see. Let's bring back this guy. And let's play with the gears again. Let's do the arrows and gears. Gears and arrows. Um, Let's do a couple of, let's do some paint and we'll do a couple layers. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. Um, hmm. I don't know what I want. Should we just do black? Nah. Let's do copper. Thin enough layer, not thin enough, but you know, no, we don't want a super thick layer. Okay. Mm. All right, there we go. Lay this down, and again, uh, just a reminder that these are IMPPs, imperfectly, imperfect, perfect stencils. That's what it is. I'm tired. Uh, let's get some tissue on here, and we can do is we can take this print, and we can go over that with this. Let's see what we get. We're just playing around today. Let's have some fun. All right. Okay. Get that paint. Oh, I need a napkin. Let's see what we got. Cool. All right. We got some texture on there. We got this going on here. Let's do um, another color. Uh, let's do orange. I don't know why. I just, I'm feeling the orange. This is a red orange. Um, 
permanent orange 73 and permanent yellow 139. It's a semi opaque. Now that's so weird. Oh well. Make sure you get all oh, those little spaces in there. Yeah, there's a little black coming off on there. That's okay. That will add to the print. Trying to get some paint in the little areas there. And we need a piece of a tissue. Smooth side, okay. There we go. Just feeling for the smooth side. Uh, here's the towel. Here's the towel. Gently get in it. It's very relaxing, actually. It's kind of a, a gloomy gray, semi rainy day here in Boston, and it's um, so this is perfect for a day like today. Little bit left on there. Let me get it up there. So this is another version of the long haul. It's just a, you know, a short haul. You know, maybe we're just going a couple towns over, not across the whole state. You missed some spots, Eddie. Get in there. Okay. See, isn't that cool? You can see the black actually kind of adds adds to the um, to the design. It's kind of cool. Let's see your side. Um, what colors next? What color should we use next? Should we keep going with the reds? You know, in that family. Um, let's see. So color we are basically orange is the opposite to the cyan. So I don't want to put any cyan down now. I, I don't want to muddy it up. I think it will muddy it up. I could be wrong, but I'm not going to risk it right now. But what if we did a um, magenta? That would work well. All right, let's go for it. This is the Quinacridone Magenta. Liquid text. Or text. All right. The Quinacridone Magenta. Okay, I love prayer rings. It's it's, just, it's like mesmerizing sometimes when you're doing it. So much paint on my fingers right now, it's not even funny. It's because the spray of the paint keeps getting stuck on the edges. Oh boy. Okay. This is, I mean, it's nuts. It's a piece of tissue. A piece of tissue for your issue. Up on your feet, yeah, dance to the beat. All right, I think 
That's good. Let's give this a pull. Oh, love that. Love when that the paint pulls off from the stencil and adds another dimension to your to the to the print. That's great. Okay. Not much left on there. I'm just gonna go on to the next color. Um what should be our next color? Should do a I'm gonna do a white. And here's why. I think the white will leave a nice little like a little halo type effect around the edges of the gears and the arrows. So let's see. Let's get some titanium white. And do a little print with that. Now, there's still some magenta on here, so we may get, you know, we're probably going to get some little pinkish going on, but that is okay. Yeah, see, there's it's turning pink. That's okay. I like it. Maybe we can pull this up with another one. What's the other one? Let's pick it up with the orange one. Okay. And we go. Get this paint off my brayer before it dries. This might be interesting the pink of the orange. That's actually, um, if you go to our, our Facebook group um, that I belong to, I say we, and yeah, it's a group I belong to, um, from PM Artist Studio called Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists. And um, I'll, I'll link that below as well. And it's a private group, just a couple of questions to um, answer before you are accepted. But... It's such a wonderful little community. We have, there's so many amazing artists on there and people who are just super knowledgeable and helpful and supportive. Isn't that fun? Grungy, grungy Barbie. That's what we'll call it. The grungy Barbie print. Still got some more paint on there, so I'm gonna get one of those strips here that we've been using and just kind of clean that up. Let's see what this looks like so far. No, I think we're gonna do another layer. Let's do something maybe a little darker. Should we do darker? I'm thinking, let's do a blue. We just did a uh, an opaque. Where's my Prussian? I have a lovely Prussian blue from Amsterdam, this is a transparent. It's uh, 566. Mm, it's a big one. Okay. Shouldn't need too much of this. Let's see, we'll start here and we'll go from there. Over the magenta with the blue. Get in here and pick up that paint. I'm having a blast. I don't know if you guys are or you're bored to death, but I'm having a good time. Um, now, I, these paints I'm using, they're, they're mid-range. They're not super pricey, um, but they work well. Um, I have some crafts paints too that um, sometimes I use depending on you know colors I need or 
uh, what have you. But I, I have some of those. That's what I started with. Um, and then I have like a couple of the Goldens, and those are the, you know, professional pricier ones. Um, but, you know, you, you, you work with what you've got, and I think you can, uh, you can achieve some beautiful things. Uh, beautiful things. Oh, that's cool, huh? And if you look close, you can see some of the orange in there. Very cool. Okay. So, let's go ahead and pull this up. And we're going to let that dry. And then um, we'll come back and uh, choose a color to lift it off with. Well, my phone died um, in the last part I was filming. So, I hope you didn't miss anything. But I think we're good. Um, so, this is dried. This is the, the, the laser print transfer we did of the photograph I took. Um, so, let's go ahead and pick it up with some paint. This. We're gonna do transparent red iron oxide by gold in the golden fluid acrylic. Now this stuff dries quickly, so I'm gonna work quickly. Rare boy, I'll throw you in the trash. Okay. okay I'm set this down gently. Center it as best I can. All right. Where's our buddy, the Baron? go I don't think we have to let this dry but we're gonna check no okay this needs a couple minutes to dry so I'll come back when this is ready to go okay so while we wait for this to dry I I, I meant to say we're gonna do um, we got to put some paint on here so we can pull this guy up this should be dry how about we do a yellow let's try the cadmium yellow hue See what, what happens. Oh this is a semi opaque yellow. So Should get a good result. I mean, it's not a super contrasting color, but um, I don't know, it might work. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one with tissue. Put this on here and let it dry. Yeah, that's gotta dry. You can feel right through, you know, it's cool, kind of wet feeling. Um, same goes with the, with the other paper I use. If you put it down and you, you know, you rub it down and then it still feels cool um, or like a, a, a wet feeling, let it dry. You try to pull that sucker up, it's going to rip your paper or whatever you're working on, and it's going to ruin it. So have patience. Let it dry. All right, let's um, pull this guy up. I think he's ready to go. And reminder, this is the photo that I took um, in Arizona. It's the bottom of a, a bottle, glass bottle. And... Um, I just thought I had some really cool textures and, and, and dark and light spots that worked really well. Um, so we did a transfer to that, of that onto the plate using our transparent red iron oxide from uh, the golden paint. And uh, here we go. Probably it's gonna look like Mars, landscape of Mars. Oh, get a little, little, little line there, that's okay. Oh, wow. How fun is that? Isn't that great? Really picked up the, the textures in the um, 
in the ground. I knew it wouldn't pick up the bottle, obviously, because it's very, it's, it's very light. Um, but this is like the shadows of a bottle, the broken glass. This is a uh, the stick that was that's laying there. It's even got the stick going across. I love all the, the rocks and, and other other stuff in the soil. I love that. I think that's a success. That is a success. Okay, now let's see if our other one's dry here. This is the one that um, we're pulling on the tissue paper, the carnival. And um, I don't know if it's dry enough, but let's try it. If not, we're gonna let it set. You know what? I think it's working. I think it's working. All right, look at that. So I'm talking about how awesome is that? All right, thank you. You know, thank you for watching. We I had a blast with you guys today, printing and making stuff. Let's see. Um, check out some of the prints we got. I gotta go over and get them, but because there's a lot, and yeah, move some of this to the side. So got this last one we did, and that's cool. It's got um, you can see all the different little layers. And then the, 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 the copper looks great against the cadmium yellow. So I think that was a, I think that was a good choice. Uh, set that aside. Um, we just did review this one. That was a, a laser transfer. I have, this is the one from the lattice stencil. There's another. There's a blue one. This one's great combinations here. And that. More of the lattice. We did a lot of layers on the lattice. Purple and black. That's cool. I like that. There's another purple. Ooh. So, and, and you get the texture too from the. Um, from the stencil, it's cool. Let's, see. Let's try and get some of the first ones, yeah. Before we go on, it's just blue. This is nice, this came out really good. This has a nice feel to it. Um, and this one, this was great. And we did the gold. And it's got a, a nice, it's like a, a toothy texture from all the, the layers of paint that were coming off from the stencil. This one here, that's really pretty. The red. And this is the print from when we cleaned off uh, the stencil with the wet wipe. Very cool, very funky. Let's see this in a journal. Let's make a great page. That'd be cool. And then um, here's another wipe off. And then we did, this is the final print that we pulled from um, the lattice stencil that we did the long haul with. And this is this is stunning. I really love how that turned out. Um, we have, this is a wipe off. This is a brayer sheet, and then I wiped off the or got the paint off the 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 gear stencil. It's got a um. It was that um, the acrylic wash in gold from Vallejo. Here's another print. And then we have these lovely ones. It's like Barbie grunge on top. Some orange there. And then this was, I think the first one we did, so we did a laser transfer of the like dots and dashes didn't come up as great, but it's still still pretty cool. And then we picked it up with the gold. How awesome is that? Wow, we did a lot today. So I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to um, check out PM Artist Studio at their website, pmartiststudio.com. They're also on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. They have three streams a week. 
Sundays at 10 a.m., Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3, so that's, that's central time. Um, and remember, today I was using imperfectly perfect stencils um, that Mariah sent me, this is Mariah, sent me to play with and to, you know, experiment with and show you guys um, what you can do with your stencil and gel plate. Um, now, you can also, uh, when you go on the website, you can use my discount. You get 10% off your total purchase of $30 or more. And the code there, I'll, I'll link everything below, but I'll read off the code. WZ6WX510-10. And you get the 10% off, $30 or more. That code expires at the end of the year, so you have a few months uh, to use it. But it's it's a great site. Check it out. Like I said earlier, it's a, it's a brand new website for them, and they did a... a a fantastic fantastic job um and they're very very helpful so i had a great time with you guys tonight today i hope everybody um enjoyed it and as you can tell i need to get a drink of water because i'm losing my voice here so we'll end it here and uh thank you very much and don't forget to check out all the info in the description box including um other places you can find me like my facebook instagram uh my etsy shop we have a new item in the etsy shop right now that i just listed they are journals that i've covered with gel prints uh my original gel prints not copies and then um i made it into just like a writing journal so there's just plain paper inside um it's one signature 18 uh writing surfaces um and they're on sale right now in my shop. There's only six available. It's a limited time, uh, limited edition run. It is, uh, they're $8.95 each. Not expensive at all. Um, so uh, get over there and get one. Um, then there's my merch shop down uh, in the description below. You can get a all over t-shirt with one of my original um, gel prints. Uh, there's coffee mugs um, and then there's zipper pouches, which are great. The zipper pouches are great for storing, you know, you know different art supplies or, um, you know, your bits and bobs for journaling. It's fun. They're great to have. So check that out and um, let me know in the comments what you thought of the video. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much.